Among those being questioned, the director of the CIA, who returned this weekend from his eighth trip to the Middle East since the war began in October. He reiterated statements by President Biden that the aim is to create a three-step process in which a ceasefire is established, Palestinian prisoners are released in exchange for Israeli captives in Gaza, and there's a surge in humanitarian relief. I don't think anybody can guarantee success. What I think you can guarantee is that the alternatives are worse for innocent civilians in Gaza who are suffering under desperate conditions, uh, for the hostages and their families um, who are suffering also under very desperate conditions. The hearing was interrupted several times by audience members protesting against U.S. involvement in Israel's war on Gaza. And the direct question was put to the CIA director. Is Israel exterminating the Palestinian people? Um, Senator, all I can say is, you know, what I said before. The question was asked again. So is that a no, you do not believe Israel is exterminating the Palestinian people? No, I, I, think, I think Israel's, I understand Israel's need. The question was still not answered directly, and it was put to the director of the National Intelligence Security Agency. Director Haynes, do you believe Israel is exterminating the Palestinian people? I really don't have anything to add to what Director Burns has said. The answers did not satisfy the protesters, nor indeed some of the senators, but it's a sign of the deep unease with the Biden administration's ongoing unqualified support of Israel that the questions were asked at all. The briefing was moved behind closed doors so material of a classified nature could be discussed. It's not known whether any of this material was related to Israel's ongoing war. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.